Good day. I am Sir Chris Angel Salonga. And then for today's video, I'm going to teach you about the introduction to conic sections and circle. So this is part one. For learning outcomes, so number one is to illustrate different type of conic sections such as parabola, ellipse, circles, hyperbola, and degenerate cases. Number two is to define a circle. Three is to determine the standard form of the equation of a circle. Number next is the graph of a circle in a rectangular coordinate system. And last one is to solve situation of problems involving conic sections. So we're focused for today's video, we're going to focus ourselves in circle. Overview of conic sections. So we introduce conic section or conics a particular class of curves which oftentimes appear in natures and which have application in other fields. One of the first shapes we learn is circle. Circle is a conic. Okay, such as example of this one is ball, the sun, the planets, the moon, and even Paris wheel. So there's a lot of example of circle. Okay, when you throw a ball, the trajectory it takes is a parabola for example you're playing basketball and then for, from your point or your position you're going to shoot a ball to the basket and then the trajectory that forms is what we call the parabola and even when you're playing badminton from your point when you uh, hit the shuttle cup to the other side of the net so it the trajectory it will form a parabola. Next is the orbit taken by each planet around the sun is an ellipse. So that is why we have different seasons. So here in the Philippines, uh, between February, December to February, we experience uh, cold weather. And then from March to May, so we have a uh, warm weather. Okay, next is one. Next is next one is a property of hyperbolas, such as properties of hyperbola have been used in designing a certain telescope or navigation system. Okay, one of the basic example of hyperbola is the Pringles. I know we love eating Pringles. Next is the block marks of a basketball ball. Okay, and even the guitar. Okay. The, the shape of the guitar so that will form a hyperbola so we will discuss circle in this lesson giving parabolas ellipse and hyperbolas for subsequent lessons okay so now let's me dis let me discuss the, the, the four types of conics so define let us first define the conics so from its root word cone so conics are formed from a cone okay so let me let me present to you this uh, figure so as you can see in the figure there are four uh, types of conics the circle the leaf hyperbola and then parabola okay as you can see for in the circle so there are two inverted cones okay where the apex is its uh, what we call that intersecting point okay so there okay if you're going to cut the uh the conics using the plane which is uh parallel to the base okay we will form a circle okay next if we're going to cut the cone okay slightly tilted okay so it will form an ellipse and then for the representation of a parabola, we're going to cut the circle using the plane which this side of the plane will pass through or the pass through to the base so it will form a parabola. And then last one, if we're going to cut the conics, which is the plane is perpendicular to the base, it will form hyperbola. Next type is what we call that the degenerate conics. Okay, so in degenerate conics, it is just a line. 
that represent using conics. Okay, first figure represent a two intersecting line. Second figure is single line. And then the last figure is a single point. Point which is the intersecting point of the two apex of the cone. And definition of circle. Okay, so circle is a round figure or plane figure whose boundary or circumference consists of points equidistant from the fixed point center. Another definition of the circle is the set of all points in the plane where the same there okay. another definition of a circle is a set of all points in the planes that are the same distance away from a specific point called the center. Okay. And then the last one is the circle may also be considered special kind of leaps. For special cases when the tilted plane is horizontal. Okay, so those are the three definitions of the circle. Okay, so now let me discuss to you the parts of the circle. Okay, let's start with the center of the circle. Center is the black dot here in the figure. Next is the radius. Radius is this is the distance from the center of the circle to the outer rim. Okay. Next is the chord. Okay, the chord is a line segment whose endpoints are on the arc or on the circle. Next is the diameter. The diameter is a chord that passes through the center of a circle. Okay, so the diameter is, is the chord that passes through the center of the circle and the length of the diameter is 2 times the radius or the length of the radius. Okay, next is the second. Second is the line that intersects the circle into two points. So the difference between the chord and the second is the chord is a line segment while the second is, the, uh, is a line. Okay. Next one is the tangent line. Okay, so we have here the tangent line P. Okay. Tangent line is a line that intersects the circle in exactly one point. So from the tangent line P, its, uh, its, its point of intersection is at point uh, T. And that point is what we call the point of tangency. So those are the important parts of the circle that we need to we need to know before we started the, the discussion proper okay so let us observe first this figure so as we can see in the figure we have a circle that is plotted in a rectangular coordinate system okay so this circle having a four points which is a b c and point p so according to the circle, point A has an ordered pair of negative 2 and 1. B, point B, has an ordered pair of 6 and 5. Point C is has an ordered pair of 3 and 1. And then as we can we observe, C is at the center of the circle. Okay, so another given is point P, which is anywhere at the point of T, uh, any point in, on the circle. Okay, so according to the, to the figure, uh, the distance PC or the length of PC is equals to 5. So point, from point P to the center C, its length is equal to 5. Okay, so... Now let us know what is the distance from point B to point C. Okay, in order to do that, we need to know first the distance formula, which is D is equals to the square root of the square of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus the square of y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Where D is equals to distance. Y, x sub 1, y sub 1 is the point of the first coordinate. 
x sub 2, y sub 2 is the point of the second coordinate. Okay, so assuming, uh, let us use point B as x sub 1, y sub 1, where B is 6 and 5. So we need to say x sub 1 is 6, y sub 1 is 5. For point 2, we should represent <coughs> x sub 2, y sub 2 is equal to point C. Point C represents 3 and 1. When you say x sub 2 is equal to 3, y sub 2 is equal to 1. Okay, using the distance formula, d is equal to the square root of the square of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus the square of y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So let me uh, let me read reread this formula again. D is equal to the square root of the square of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus the square of y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Okay, so let us substitute all the given. Our x sub 2 is 3 minus x sub 1 is 6. Okay, our y sub 2 is 1 minus y sub 1 is 5. So we have here d is equal to the square root of the square of 3 minus 6 plus the square of 1 minus 5. So let us simplify uh, x, uh, 3 minus 6 and then 1 minus 5. So we have here 3 minus is negative 3 and then 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Okay, so we have here d is equal to the square root of x, the square of negative 3 <coughs> plus the square of negative 4. Okay, so simplify let the square negative 3 and square natin yung negative 4. So we have here the square root of 9 plus the square root of plus 16. So we have to add plus 16 plus 9. So we have here the square root of 25. Okay, so the square root of 25 is equal to 5. So therefore, the distance from B to C is equal to 5. So let us now uh, go back to the figure. Okay, as we observe, BC is equal to 5 and then BC is equal to 5. So according to the definition, uh, all radius have the same length. Okay, and then if you're going to find the diameter, so I mean we need to twice d the length of the radius. So the diameter from of this figure is equal to 10. Okay, so in this figure, so let's see be a given point and the set of all point P having the same distance from C is called a circle. The point C is called the center of a circle. And the common distance is called the radius. So from this figure, so we have circle C. Okay, C H K represent the circle, the center rather, and then point P is the point any point on the circle which represent P, X, Y, and then the distance from the center to P or any point on the circle is what we call the radius. Radius have the same distance. Okay, so let us now talk about the standard equation of the circle using this figure. Okay, so we have C H K. Okay, so our center is H K. Okay, as we observe, the distance from P to C is equal to R. So that is our radius. In order to get that, we will go to use the distance formula. And then, uh, HK, this is X sub 1. And then, Y sub 1. So we have square root of the square of X minus H plus the square of Y minus K is equal to R. Okay, so simplify this one by squaring both sides. 
uh, we have the square of the square root of the square of x minus h plus the square of x y minus k is equals to r square. So here we can eliminate uh, the square root and then we will have the square of x minus h plus the square of y minus k is equals to r, r square. So this is the standard equation of the circle having the center hk. So what if we have the center 0, 0? Okay, just simply substitute h as 0 and k, k as 0 from, the, from this equation. So we have here the square of x minus 0 plus the square of y minus 0 is equals to r square. So simplify, let us simplify uh, x minus 0. So we have x square plus y square we have is equals to r square. So this is the standard equation of a circle having the center is 0, 0. <coughs> Okay, to sum it up using this table, so for the first column, we have the center 0, 0, and then h, k. So for the standard equation of the circle, having the center 0, 0, so we have x squared plus y squared is equals to r squared. Next, the standard equation of the circle having the center h, k is equal the square of x minus h plus the square of y minus k is equals to r square. So let us proceed to examples. So in each item, give the standard equation of the circle satisfying the given condition. Okay, number one, center is at origin and then radius is four. So, so, so this is the solution. So from the given, okay, C center is the origin, so center is at 0, 0, and then the radius is equals to 4. Okay, so since the center of the the center of the cir circle is 0, 0, we're going to use the x squared plus y square is equals to r square. So now let's uh, substitute r, which is equal to 4. So we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 4 squared. 4 squared is equal to 16. So this is our final answer. Okay, so th that is the standard equation of the circle having the center of the origin and has a radius of 4. <coughs> Next, center is, neg is at negative 4, 3 and ranges is square root of 7. Solution. Okay, so the given our center is negative 4, 3 and radius is, close to, is equal to square root of 7. Okay, since the center is not on the origin or not 0, 0, so we're about to use this formula. Okay, this equation, so we have the square of x minus h plus the square of y minus k is equals to r square. Okay, so here our h is negative 4 and our k is negative is 3 and our radius is square root of 7. So substitute let us substitute all the given. So we have the square of x minus negative 4 plus the square of y minus 3 is equals to square square the square root of 7. So simplify natin this one, x minus x mul negative multiplied by negative, so we will get positive. So we have the square of x plus 4 plus the square of y minus 3 is equals to 7. So in 7, we need to, uh, we're going to eliminate the square root sign. So we will get 7. So this is our final answer. Okay, so how about this one? So our first figure. Okay, so let us have the given. Okay, so as we can see, center is 3, 1. And then, 
Okay, for the solution given is center is 3, 1, and then the radius is 5. Okay, so going back to the equation that we have, or the solution that we have for this one, the distance from B, B, BC is equals to 5. Okay, so substitute all the given. Again, since RC is not, our center not, uh, do not lie, lies on 0, 0 or the center. So we're about to use this formula, the square of x minus k plus the square of y minus k is equals to r square. So for h is equal to 3, k is equals to 1, and then r is equal to 5. So let us substitute all the given. So we have the square of x minus 3 plus the square of y minus 1 is equal to 5 square. So 5 square is equals to 25. And then we have the final answer of the square of minus 3, x minus 3 plus the square of y minus 1 is equals to 25. So meaning to say uh, the equation or the circle or the, at the right. Okay, so represent the standard equation of this one. <clears throat> Next example, okay, so we have, on the right side, we have two uh, circle, circle A and then circle B. Now, okay, so let us find the equation of the circle, standard equation of the circle A. So, which is the, uh, the red one. Okay, so for the solution, Okay, so as we can see, let us find out by inspection uh, where is the center of the circle A. Okay, so this is uh, this red dot. And so this is our, so this is the center of circle A. So its order pair is negative 2 and then negative 1 for the center we have negative 2 and then negative 1 okay and then for its radius so just simply count the distance from the center to any point of on the center so here it is easy to identify its distance if we're going to count from the center to this point. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So meaning to say the radius is equal to 4. Okay, then for our given, so we have C is negative 2, negative one and then our radius is equals to four so where we already have the center and then the radius again let us use the standard equation of the circle okay which is the square of x minus h plus the square of y minus k is equals to r square substitute that all the given negative two as h negative one as k and then for our radius, we have 4. Okay, so we have here the square of x minus negative 2 plus the square of y minus negative 1 plus is equal to 4 square. So negative times negative. So we have positive 2, we have here negative times negative 1, we have positive 1, and then the square of 4 is equal to 16. So we have here the square of x plus 2 plus the square of y plus 1 is equal to 16. So this is the, the standard equation of the circle A. Next. Okay, let's uh, uh, let's proceed to find the standard equation 
of the circle B. Okay, so here is our circle B. Okay, so for the solution, so first let us find the given, the two important given that we need to know. The first one is the center, then the second one is the radius. Okay, identify, let us identify the center of the circle B. Okay, center of circle B. So we have the order for the X. So we have 3. And then for the Y, we have 2. Okay. And then for the ratio radius, we need to find the distance from the center to any point of the circle. So here is uh, it is easy here to find the distance from here up to here. From this part point to up to this point. Okay, so let us count. We have one. Two and then three. So therefore, the radius is equals to three. Okay. So given we have center three two and radius is equal to three. Again, for the formula, we have the square of x minus h plus the square of y minus k is equals to r square h is a, h represent as 3 k as 2 and then r as 3 so substitute all the given so we have the square of x minus 3 plus the square of y minus 2 plus 3 square 3 square is equals to 9 so therefore the equation of the standard equation of circle b is equal to is rather square of x minus 3 plus the square of y minus 2 is equals to 9. Okay, uh, next one is the center is 5, negative 6, and tangent to y axis. So, in order to understand and to get the standard equation of the circle. Uh, having uh, satisfying that condition so the first thing we need to know to do is to sketch the graph so how can we sketch the graph okay so let us draw Cartesian plane okay so this is y-axis and this one is our X axis. Okay. According to the given, uh, the center is at 5, negative 6. So from X axis, you need to count 5 units from the origin to the right. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And then five, and then for our y, so we have negative six. So we need to count six units from the origin going down, because because it is negative. So we have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. So this is our negative 6 and this is our positive 5. Okay. So now let us locate center 5, negative 6. So from 5, so we, let us draw a line. And then from 6, negative 6, okay, let us draw a horizontal line. Okay, so the point of intersection is the center 5, 
negative 6. So, ito yun. So, this is our center 5 negative 6. And, okay, according to the condition, uh, this circle is tangent to y-axis. So, here is our y-axis. So, we need to say, okay, this is tangent to y-axis. So, we need to say, so the, most likely, uh, the circle represent this one. Okay, assuming that it is a perfect circle, a perfect arc. Okay, so since uh, this center is tangent to y-axis, we need to find the distance from the center up to y-axis. So let us count. So we have 1, 2, 3, oops, oops, wait, wait. We have here one, two, three, four, and then five. So therefore, our R is equals to five. Okay, so why do we need to get the radius or R? Because in standard equation of circuit, Two important thing to, things are given that we need to know is the center and then the radius. Okay, so solutions. Since the center is 5 units away from y-axis, so the radius is 5. And then our given, so we have 5, negative 6. And then r is equals to 5. Let us substitute all the given from this equation. The square of x minus h plus the square of y minus k equals to r square so h is 5 k is negative 6 and then r is 5 okay so we have here the square of x minus 5 plus the square of y minus negative 6 plus 5 square Okay, so negative times negative, so we have here Pascal, and then the square of 5 is equal to 25. So therefore, for our final answer, we have the square of x minus 5 plus the square of y plus 6 is equal to 25. Center is 5, negative 6, and tangent to x-axis. So, here, sa x-axis naman siya nakatangent. So, again, let us form a circle. Or sketch the circle. For x, y-axis. And then, this is our x-axis. So, 5 units from the center to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is 5. And then, 6 units from the center going down. So, we have negative 1, negative 2. Oops, wait. Okay, negative 1. Negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. So this is negative 6. Okay, so let us locate the point of intersection. And then the point of intersection is here, which is the center center 5 
negative 6 and according to the given condition tangent to x axis so from the center to x axis we need to find the distance from the center to x axis so most likely our circle will be like this one and so let us count from the center so we have one two three four five and then six okay so meaning to say r is equals to six okay so for the solution since the center is six units away from the x-axis so the radius is six okay just like what we did here okay so from the uh, from the given r c center five negative six and then the radius is equal to six okay so the square of x minus h plus the square of y minus k is equal to r square so, okay the only difference from the previous one is the radius the radius is r so which is, we have r six square six square is equal to 36 so therefore the standard equation of the given condition is the square of x minus 5 plus the square of y minus uh, plus 6 is equal to 36 Okay, next one is okay find the standard equation of the circle satisfying the given condition has a diameter with endpoint a negative 1 and 4 and b point b 4 and 2 okay for the solution again okay the center is at the midpoint of point a and point b so therefore the distance from point A to point B is the, is the diameter of the circle and the, the midpoint of the diameter is the center. Okay, so in order to get the center or the midpoint of point A and B, uh, we're going to use this formula. So we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2 and then y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So this is our x sub 1 and then y sub 1 this is our x sub 2 y sub 2 substitute all the given so we have here negative okay negative 1 plus 4 over 2 and then 4 plus 2 over 2 simplify the numerator we have 3 over 2 and 6 over 2 so for our center we have 3 over 2 and then 3 so that is the midpoint or the center of point a and point b okay so we have already the center now we need to find the radius okay for its radius okay you will use the distance formula which is r is equal to the square root of the square of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus the square of y sub 2 minus y sub 1. Okay, so let's assume that the center is the x sub 1 and then y sub 1. And then here, we're going to use uh, point A we have x sub 2 and then y sub 2 now we substitute all the given so we have x sub 2 is negative 1 x sub 1 is 3 over 2 ok we have y sub 2 is 4 and then negative 
uh, minus y sub 1 is 3. So we have here r is equals to the square root of the square of negative 1 minus 3 over 2 plus the square of 4 minus 3. Okay, simplify, not, let us simplify the term inside the parentheses. Okay, so we have negative 5 over 2 or the square of negative 5 over 2 plus the square of 1. So now simplify this one. So we have the square root of 25 over 4 plus 1. And then it we have simplified the term inside the terms inside the radical sign. So we have the square root of 29 over 4. So that is our radius. The center is 3 over 2 and then 3 and radius is the square root of 29 over 4. Okay, now we can use the formula of the square of x minus h plus the square of y minus k is equals to r square. Okay, h is 3 over 2, k is 3. And then for the radius, the square root of 29 over 4. So we have here the square root, the square of x minus 3 over 2 plus the square of y minus 3 is equal to the square of square root of 29 over 4. So we, we can cancel this one. Okay. Just cancel 2 and 2. So a math. So the final answer would be the square of x minus 3 plus the square of y minus 3 is equals to square root of, is equals to 29 over 4. Again, square of x minus 3 over 2 plus the square of y minus 3 is equals to 29 over 4. Okay, so I hope you learned a lot from this video. Thank you for watching and to God be all the glory.